Now, the WASPy pension story is on most of today's front pages, reporting that millions of women could be entitled to compensation due to the historic move of their pensionable age. Mm. But I think it's made all of us think about have we made preparations for a later stage in mm. life? Judy, you're the youngest of us. Have you? <laughs> well, you know what? I think I'm going to be honest. I, when I was growing up, you know, a lot of things that I saw um, from other like family members and friends within the community, there was always that not mention about any financial situation until the person had passed away, and then it's like, Lord God, are we going to pay for this? So there was always that kind of vibe. And so, so, so it, secrecy around Yeah, you? like, you, you respect your elders and don't ask them their business. Okay, Do you know what I mean? Good. Like, Mum, where's your paperwork? Don't ask me my business. Okay, so yeah. you kind of grow with that same kind of feeling, mm. and it's, you know, my mum always used to say to me, have your own, make sure you have your own. You've seen what happened with other people, have your own get to lick a house, settle down, have your own. And I think, you know, I was in social housing and now I'm at a stage where I've bought, you know, a house. It definitely plays in my mind more about how to be financially responsible. Yeah. Because yeah. you can be, like, financially free, but there's a difference between being responsible with mm. your money. So I'm definitely now thinking about where I'm saving pensions, life insurance, all those kind of things to come together to, you know, add to having the, the knowledge of wealth more than just thinking about wealth, you know? Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, and I guess, like, we're, we're all living a kind of freelance world, don't we? So, mm. I mean, I took out my, my first pension, because I don't have a company pension, when I was 26. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's not worth very much, to be perfectly yeah. honest. Um, well, that's but... the atmosphere I grew up in. My yeah. mum and dad were like, don't get a pension. Uh, I mean, I, I must be one of the only people that I know that my dad said, always be self-employed, always be a freelancer. So I just grew up with that. Yeah. It's just the wildest, I, know, I suppose. But they, they, were, they had a couple of pensions that they got through the bank and then they lost money. You know when you're growing up and you hear these things? Yeah. So I've always... I've never considered getting a pension because, for me, it was always a negative thing. But you've got a remarkable mm -hmm. attitude to money, I always think, because, I mean, I worry about the future. I worry about security. Mm -hmm. I mean, <clears throat> I don't think it's done me much good, but I do have that worry, whereas you don't. I think it's in the bedroom in me. It's like I always say, I really enjoyed waitressing. So if I went back to waitressing, it really, I love, I don't, things don't bother me, you know, I don't necessarily. Yeah. And it's stupid, I'm stupid. Oh. I, it's not, a, I wouldn't recommend it, but I don't try and think too far ahead. I'm always in the moment. But then I'm married to a really solid, like, very, like, smart person, <laughs> thank God, because I'm a bit like, Ooh, you know. So, yeah, yeah I wouldn't recommend my way. Um, well, I don't think I'm ever going to retire because every time I get close to retirement age, they raise it. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> so what what are we on now? Yeah. Absolutely. What is it? It's Six, 60, 67. Seven, coming 67, up to, I think. Yeah. So, you know, by the, by end the time of, by... I get to 60... I'm yeah. 62 this year. By the time I get... They'll probably have raised it again. Do you well, think by the we'll end of... eventually have to work longer than men as well, even though we'd have the babies? And we yeah, had probably. All... By the end of, of 2028, <laughs> it'll be 67. It's 66 at the moment. But it's a yeah. good point that you raise, that women, because they often take time out for children or they go part-time or whatever, the chances are that their retirement pot, whenever that time comes, is going to be small. Yeah, yeah. Uh, small and it depends on what time. job you do. I mean, if you're, you know, a nurse in A&E or you're a police officer or whatever, what you do for a living is like 30 years in any mm. other... You know, it's very mm. intense and yeah. hard work and yeah. condensed, of Brutal. course. You know, you want to think, OK, I'm going to retire yeah. at this age while I've got my health mm. and I can do a few That's things that I've wanted to do with my life. Your mum was a teacher, wasn't she? Did she...? My mum was a teacher. And, I mean, I was brought up like you. Yeah. My mum always said to me, have your own money, you know, da-da-da-da-da. And she saved and saved and saved. And I remember my mum was always like, if... She wanted to go somewhere and there was a direct train yeah. that was 35 quid. She'd get the bus that she had to change because it was 18 quid. And I'd go, Mum, just spend your money. Oh, no, 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 save, save, save. And now she's a lot older and she's got care needs. The state, mm. she's saved up all that money and the state's just taking mm. all of it in her care needs. Well, that's so fun. I'm looking at that now thinking, I'm spending my money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. spending all of my money. <laughs> and then. I go on these, I go on these like, you know, hol this big holiday. I go and, you know, I've just come back from one, haven't I, that I talked about last time I was on with my mate. Every time I meet these couples and they go, we're skiing. And I go, Hello, we're in the desert. <laughs> and they go, no, spending the kids' inheritance. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yes! 
<laughs> yeah, but, but it's interesting that, isn't it? Because the reason that a lot of people do save, save, save is because they want to give something to their children. Yeah. They want to leave something. Yeah. And then if they do have, you know, care needs that can cost an awful lot, then it's a kind of double but whammy. But the tax system makes it so hard do. to do that. So I would say, you know, and again, this is an indulgent conversation if you've got the money. If you haven't mm. got the money, I mean, if you're living hand to mouth, then you're not going to understand any of this. But when people say give with warm hands, because you can give, like, I think, is it three grand a year tax-free? Just give your, give your kids money mm. sort of in small amounts when they need it, because by the time we're all six feet under, quite often they're, they're on mm. their feet, they don't need that money, so, yeah. you know, bank yeah, and hand and it over when cold. they need it. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> And I'm living is... my best life, child. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, there you are, you know, and you're the same, Jane. And you didn't get left anything, and there no. you've made I, your own life. Yeah, I got, I got left with a, a lot of knowledge and love and, and, and determination and saw a woman work so hard like we all have when it comes to our mums. And I think, really, out of everything, that's just what's one of the main things that has got us into the position that we are. Whether, it's, whether you're in a different position, it's not necessarily about finances, it's about who you are as a person, and that's the most wealthiest thing you can have. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great way to look at it, it really is.